My father served in the Navy and Merchant Marine in World War II. He wasn't old enough to enlist, but that didn't stop him. He never spoke of his service and he went through some nightmarish things the rest of his life. You could not wake him without backing up. He came up swinging. That's one of the reasons that I love President Trump so much. He adores our warriors in the military. He respects their service and knows what they sacrificed for their country. Trump may never have served, but he has the heart of a military man. He has the utmost respect for our men and women in uniform. America has seen some incredible heroes. Men and women of staggering courage and heart. President Trump honors them every chance he gets. They are not forgotten or forsaken under his watch. Our military personnel are what makes America strong and safe. Trump holds that dear and has no patience for those who do not love and respect their country, such as football players who kneel during the national anthem. That's why when the Super Bowl champs didn't show at the White House, President Trump held a Celebrate America ceremony instead, showing that the military is far more important to America than sports figures with an attitude. President Trump just recently posthumously awarded the Congressional Medal of Honor to a real hero. A World War II veteran named Garland Merle Connor, while presenting the award to Connor's widow, Pauline, he passed 20 years ago. President Trump opened up with a moment of prayer by a military chaplain before giving a speech lauding Connor's service. From the Daily Caller, he earned his award in January 1945 fighting Nazi Germany after sneaking out of the hospital while recovering from a previous wound. Connor went straight to the front line with a telephone and called in firepower on German positions for hours all while he was being heavily targeted. He saved so many lives they can't even count, Trump said. Connor was the second most decorated soldier of the Second World War. No words can express the outstanding leadership qualities that Lt. Connor had, his battalion commander said of Connor. It may have taken many years for Connor to receive the Medal of Honor he deserved. But President Trump did not forget his service or his courage. It was the right thing to do. I think the moment of prayer Trump opened with is one of his greatest gestures yet and it was immediately followed by awarding this honor to Connor. Americans love their boys and girls who serve in the military. They also are thrilled when the president takes time to say a prayer and have God join us in our honoring of our heroes. All of this goes to show that President Trump is indeed a man of God. The same cannot be said for most of those on the left. Take for instance Nancy Pelosi, who just recently admonished the president for referring to MS-13 gang members as animals and claimed that they had a spark of divinity. I don't know how anyone who is religious could claim that evil gang members somehow have a spark of divinity in them. She calls herself a Christian, yet pushes for abortion. How about Marxine Waters who just called for the left to confront and harass anyone connected to President Trump? That is an out-and-out -out call for violence and intimidation, yet she has the nerve to claim God is on her side. I think not. It's easy to see here who really follows God and who doesn't. Trump does and the Democrats don't. The America that Lt. Connor fought for during World War II is the same one that President Trump is fighting for every day. We were very close to losing our country to Marxists before Trump was elected. All that our brave military had fought, bled and died for over centuries was about to be lost. It was that serious. We now have a reprieve and our future depends on who we choose to follow. President Trump who supports our military, police and who believes in God, or the left who believes in Karl Marx and authoritarianism. As long as President Trump is in office. Our heroes and their stories will not be forgotten. When President Trump presented the Medal of Honor to Connor's still living wife Pauline, she said, I had really and truly given up on it. I just didn't think it would ever happen. But he has a combat record that speaks for itself. I don't have to tell it. But President Trump is telling it and won't let the truly fantastic and courageous story of Lt. Garland Merle Connor go unheard. This is a man who put aside his own pain and life to save countless other American heroes on the front lines. He was instrumental in defeating the Germans and Nazism. We owe him a debt that can never, ever be repaid.